Hello and welcome to what is hopefully going to be one of a series of screencasts that I produce on ImageJ, specifically for radiologists. If you're unfamiliar with ImageJ, it's a freeware open source program that's originally produced by the NIH. And I still think in my mind that it's the best image manipulation software out there. It handles DICOM images, it handles any image format. And one of its strengths is that it allows you to batch process images. I've been using it for over 10 years now, and in this series of tutorials, I'm going to show you some of the basic and slightly more advanced features of this program. So the purpose, one, is to show you how to use ImageJ. And number two, it's going to allow me to practice using Camtasia for screencasting. This is another project I'm working on, and so I think what you will see throughout these videos, hopefully, is an evolution and slightly more polished videos, a little bit more features as we move through this. First, we're going to learn how to manipulate a single image. And I'm going to do this based on the case of constrictive pericarditis that has radiographs, CT, and MR images. Here we see that we have a lateral radiograph with pericardial calcification. We are going to learn how to nicely crop this image so that it can be used in a PowerPoint presentation. Then we're going to learn to work with a series of images, or what's called a stack. And this is probably the biggest and best feature of ImageJ. You can take as many images as you want. You can take an entire CT scan. And you put them into an interactive stack and so that you can batch process or manipulate all of these images at the same time. Here are the CT on the same patient. I've taken three images, and I've created a montage from a stack. I've batch processed to nicely crop them so that they're uniform in size, nicely showing the calcification here. And then it produces this series of three images that are perfectly spaced, that are easy to put into a presentation, onto a website, etc. The other thing I'm going to do is show you how to produce animated GIFs. And again, I think this is one of the strongest features of ImageJ. Here's an animated GIF of the patient's MR, four chamber cine, showing this ventricular interdependence here. You see the septal bounce during diastole. Now, an animated GIF, unlike what you're probably used to with an MPEG, a WMV, other media files, AVIs, is that this is actually treated as an image by PowerPoint. So no longer do you have to worry about the fail where a video doesn't work. Now, of course, I can't manipulate this, and it will just run in a continuous loop. But especially for MR and a lot of CT images, this is all you need. So what are you going to need as we follow through these videos? A, you need images in any format. They don't even have to be radiology images. If you want to work with photos, that's fine, too. And then you need ImageJ. This is free. You can just Google it and go to, go to the website that it provides or go to this link. Of course, it requires Java. You may already have it installed on your machine. If not, there's detailed instructions on how to install Java at the time of installing ImageJ. So with that, let's get started, and I hope to see you back on subsequent screencasts.